Hey, what's good? I'm professional shooting coach Colin Castello with Shot Mechanics Basketball, and welcome to today's video where I'm going to teach you how to find your perfect shooting release. All right, now a lot of players struggle with their shooting release, and one of the main reasons why is because there's three different releases that work, but depending on how your other mechanics are is gonna change what release works best for you. So today what I wanna do is walk through the three different types of releases, and then talk about the different hand positions that are gonna be helpful for that kind of release. So depending on how you hold the basketball, you might need to change your release finger and your release tips to make sure the ball's flying straighter and the ball's flying more accurate. But before we jump into it, all you gotta do is click the top of the link in the description down below to get free access to my quick draw shooting workout. This is a 100% free workout I put together for you to help you increase your in-game shooting speed, your in-game consistency, and your in-game confidence. So click the top of the link in the description down below, again, 100% free. Now, the first kind of a release that works for players is what we call the index finger release. Your index is your pointer finger, right? And so basically it's just the idea that as you release, your index finger is the last one to touch the ball, so it's finishing down towards the ground. Now, this is an index, you know, the index finger release works for players like Kobe Bryant and Michael Jordan, but for a lot of players, it doesn't actually work. If we look at the top 10 shooters in the NBA from three-point field goals made last season, none of them are actually index finger shooters, but that doesn't mean that it doesn't work best for you. So for all three of these, I always recommend some trial and error. Try all three out and see what works best. Now, what we find most of the time for players who put their hand behind the ball on their shot, the index finger works the best. So be, what I mean by that is as I'm getting ready to shoot, if your hand is pushed behind the ball, generally speaking, the index finger release is gonna work best because if your hand's shoved behind, that's the easiest finger to get to the center of the basketball. So if you are somebody who just loves to have your hand behind the ball, you might wanna try the index release because it's probably gonna keep the ball straight and it's gonna fly straighter, you're gonna make more shots, right? So that's number one, index finger. Generally speaking, you're gonna shoot better if your hand's behind the ball with an index finger release. All right, so the next release we've got is what we call a split finger release. This is where the ball's gonna come off of the fork of your index and your middle finger, just like this. So on this one, the V of those two fingers is gonna be in the center of the basketball, so that's where it's gonna fly straight. Now for most people, to be able to shoot with a split finger release, you're either gonna have your hand on top of the ball, or maybe even just a little bit the back of the kind of back side of the ball in this area. Again, we wanna think about as the ball comes off straight, how are we getting to that? And so a lot of times that top of the basketball or the kind of the back side is where we see split fingers working. Now, another thing to take into account with split finger is how long are your fingers? If you look at my fingers right here, I've got kind of a pretty big discrepancy in, in you know, height of my middle and my index finger. So I'm more of a middle finger shooter. That's probably one reason because of it. A lot of people, their fingers are closer. They might be more like this in height. And so when they have that split, it's a little bit more even of a platform for the ball to come off. So one thing I would recommend, holding out your hand, looking at it, and seeing how tall your index finger is. Some people have longer index fingers, and so a split finger release might work better for them. Again, the whole key to a split finger is that you just wanna make sure that the V of the split is in the center of the ball, not a single finger, right? Because if I put, let's say, my index finger in the center of the ball, but I'm a split finger shooter, it's automatically gonna come off sideways just like that, right? So make sure that you're keeping it straight and that the center of the V is in the ball, and if it's if your hands on top or maybe kind of the top back side area, that's when you might wanna use split finger. All right, and the last release that universally works best for players if I had to pick one is the middle finger release, meaning that your middle finger is the last finger to touch the basketball and snap off towards the ground. Now, out of the top 10 NBA shooters, I think seven out of 10 use the middle finger and three out of 10 use the split finger release. None of the 10 use the index. So, you know, that's just a little bit of data to throw at you. Not saying that you won't be an index or not saying that you won't be a split, just that the majority good shooters end up using the middle. So for a hand position, right, to be a middle finger shooter, it generally helps to have your hand either on the top side over here on your shot or rotated all the way down to the side or somewhere in this area. What you'll notice is a lot of great shooters, Steph Curry, James Harden, a lot of players like that actually have their shooting hand on the side of the basketball and then load up like this and then snap it off in one fluid motion off their middle finger. So what I would highly recommend to find your perfect release, this is kind of the simple hack to do it. Film yourself shooting, have a friend do it, set up your phone, whatever you wanna do, and pause the video right when you're catching the ball and going into your shot and see where your hand's at. See where you're shooting hands at. If your hand's naturally on the top, if your hand's naturally on the back, if your hand's naturally on the side, that might change your decision of what release you wanna try without having to change anything else on your jump shot, right? It might be as simple as your hand's on the side, but you're trying to release with your index finger, things aren't aligned. Right? If your hand's on the side, you release it with middle finger, it's gonna be a little bit straighter. Right? So pay attention to that hand position where you're starting from, and we can use backwards design to find the perfect release for you. All right, and don't forget, if you wanna make sure that you get the right in-game reps, click the top of the link in the description down below, get free instant access to my quick draw shooting workout, 100% free, 
for you. And if you're new to Shop Mechanics, click the subscribe button, head to the comment section down below, leave me a comment, let me know what sort of video you want to see next. Again, this is a channel for the people, by the people, so leave it down below and hopefully we'll be able to get to it. And again, my name is Coach Colin Castell with Shop Mechanics Basketball. Thanks for watching and until next time, splash on.